Hey, what's up guys? Soaps here. Welcome back to another video and I am proud to welcome you guys to our 700 subscriber special. Yes. <laughs> so, um, like usual, I worked really hard um, for what you're about to see and that means that it is late at night uh, <laughs> and I like to get the, the specials out the day that we hit the milestone, so, um, I might be a little bit loopy, because it is late at night, um, so yeah, we, we got, we got the whole gang, we got, uh, $5 Stormtrooper, um, we got, uh, Mannequin Man, um, yeah, so we may as well get right into it, is that I made the deck box, or the starter deck box, I don't really know what I'm doing with it, oh, you guys didn't see that. Um, I don't know what I'm uh, <laughs> going to be doing with this as of now, but I decided that I'm going to call the set the first four voyage. And um, this is what I like to call the discounted, the not the discounted, the budget, <laughs> budget discounted uh, starter deck box because I could just, you know, blast through all of my pens and color everything. Um, but I'm not doing that right now. Oh, the, the economy. It's the economy deck box. How many words can you say the, mean the exact same thing? But um, this is the economy deck box. So if I decide that I want to color it <laughs> with the whole background, I can do that. But as of now, I don't own HP, so I don't have as much ink to do that. Um, so yeah, so there's the front cover. We got the SS Marie, 7 Cs TCG. I also realized that um, I put a lot of ink down when I do the text like this which means that when I try and color over it, it's going to sponge. So I made that mistake the first time. It didn't come up that bad in uh, the copy. This is a copy. This isn't the original. I'm going to show you guys how to make something like this. So command your own fleet, naval fleet, to claim your part of the seven seas. Um, I tried to not make it sound that cringy, but I think I did okay. We got a whale. Oh. There we go. Um, includes a 26 card deck and one 7 CCG coin. Uh, so yeah, I mean, I don't have a deck or a coin in here right now. <laughs> I just wanted to show the box. And then we go, ah, this is pirate soaps and uh, soaps 2018. So yeah, I decided that a deck is going to have 10 crew members, 10 action cards, and then the three um, chips. Schooner, Frigate, and then the uh, Galleons. And then the three stack cards that go along with them. And I would love to try and shove a whole game board into this. I tried when I was messing around with the, the demos. Uh, it doesn't work. It Trust me. Um, when you wad up four pieces of paper, when you try to fold it up, it's, it gets about that thick. And then... Um, it doesn't really fit, you know, thick. Oh, there goes a $5 Stormtrooper. Just woke up my whole house. <laughs> All right, so now that you guys have seen that, oh, also, because it has a little cool tabby thing up here, you can, wow, look at that. Oh, and I was supposed to glue, oh, boy. Um, it's supposed to look like this. Uh, this is when the demo comes in handy, because I didn't glue that together, but, it, you know, it's supposed to be glued, so it'll end up, uh, looking like this and it makes it easier to close when you to close when you have the the flappy thingy glued down so yeah that is the the deck box all right so now let's get into how i made this so i'm a template boy i use templates and so first i just took my cards and i put them down and i figured out all right this is how big i want to make it this is how much room i'm going to give the cards inside the deck box and then I mirrored that over here with just a nice ruler. And so that would end up being the front and the back. And then I decided, all right, how many cards do I want to shove in here? And measured how thick they were or what their width was. And then I said, all right, this will be big enough to carry a big amount of cards. So I decided that's how wide the edges are going to be and you need to have three edges because they'll end up folding into each other because this is one side and then these two 
these two will uh, fold into each other and you'll glue them. So um, this is the non-glued side, but it still stays together. Good enough. And then you have your flaps at the bottom. So I decided with this at the bottom, I'm not going to put anything special like I did at the top. And I'm just going to have the bottom, which I just decided to keep all of the side pieces the same width. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, you have to do that <laughs> or it won't come out nice. So make sure that you have your all of your side widths, also the top and bottom widths, which will end up being this part and that part. And then you have your tabs that are going to fit into the actual deck box. And then you have, I decided, hey, it would be cool to do that flappy thingy. So this is the top of the deck box. This is the part that sticks out. And then you fold this piece down and that's going to act as the tab like that. So I usually glue this piece, which will hold the sides. You cut out on these lines to be able to fold them in to act as to act as these things and that just holds the tab in place so that it doesn't fall out or anything so those are quite important make sure you do those and uh yeah make sure you glue that down if you're gonna do the tab because i didn't do that so i just had an original template and then i drew this stuff on it and now i just copy it whenever I want to make more and then I cut it out and glue it so that's how I do that I mean not the craziest thing in the world it's pretty simple um yeah because soaps figured it out <laughs> um <laughs> but yeah that's how you make the box I know I got a lot of comments on that when I showed off the first one for sketchbook chronicles but there you go now you know um yeah so I think that's going to be it today um <laughs> Yeah, uh, hopefully that was a reasonable enough thing for a subscriber special. I think it is. I spent a lot, of, a lot of time working all this stuff out for the template and everything. So uh, thank you guys for watching, and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for uh, 700 subscribers. Yeah.